Folks, cast your mind back to the days when you were a car crazed kid in high school and you were uh, involved in building cars. They were about this big, they were plastic. Most of them were American kit cars. If somebody had come to you and said, hey, you're really into this stuff I can see. Look, there's a program the school is running where you get to build a race car. You and a whole heap of your mates from the class will be part of a special program where you'll sit down, you'll be taught how to build a car, you'll be given the welding skills, the fabricating skills, the engineering skills to build that car. And once it's built, and that's gonna take about two years, we're gonna put it on a racetrack and you're gonna get a chance to drive it. Think about the possibilities that that could open up to you as you go through your career out of high school into the big, wide, wonderful world. The engineering opportunities that open up to you or just the sheer fact that you could say, I once drove a race car. Welcome to Queensland. Welcome to Lakeside Raceway. Welcome to this very, very special edition of Australian Car Collector. We're going to find out about this incredible program. It's it's. It's incredible. It's just amazing. I don't know what to say. It's called Formula High School. You're about to meet the people behind it. Let's go and have a chat with them. Folks, behind every single organization, there's got to be somebody at the head of the whole thing who drives it or who delegates responsibility. And if that person's not passionate about what they're doing, then that filters down and you find the rest of the crew don't share the, the sort of vibrancy that they really ought to. But when you've got a, a, a boss who is really, really passionate, then that speaks volumes to everyone else. I'm here with Anthony. He's the principal of Sunshine Beach State High. And his school, I've been told, is one of the, the, the shining stars of the, the Formula High School program. Anthony, it, there's such a buzz out there on the, on the track today. The cars are about to, to get going. Tell us about the involvement of the school in the program, mate. So the school's been involved in the program for six years mm -hmm. with fantastic community support with some of our sponsors like, you know, Fraser Island Tours and so forth that help us with the engineering. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, a number of incredibly passionate teachers, Great. absolutely incredible passionate teachers yep. who do countless hours beyond out of their own, uh, you know, desire. But it's probably one of the most engaging subjects in our school. You know, you go down and you see the students' faces, they're just lit up, they're involved, they're talking, the relationships are fantastic, their learning is great, um, and it caters for all our students. We have uh, high-level ATAR students taking this course in engineering. Okay. Uh, we currently have three of the cars on track today, yep. and probably one of the largest contingents of students here today. Fantastic. So so the kids who are getting heavily involved in, in STEM subjects, you know, science, technology, engineering, maths, that sort of thing. Are they the main focus or do you find other students who are just more hands-on, less, you know, book focused or is it a mix of both? It's absolutely a mix of both. You know, we have our students who are high level physics and math students choosing engineering as a subject of choice right? Uh, because they love it, it you know, it assists them with their other subjects and we've got our hands-on students as well who do it. Um, they're down there every day working. Uh, they love the design, the build, uh, and the passion that goes into it is incredible. Fantastic. Yeah. I, I can remember as a kid, I always wanted to, to, I was car nuts back then, and I wanted to design Ferraris. You know, that was my thing, and Jags and all that. But my maths wasn't good enough. Yeah. Right? So they say those who can do, those who can't teach. Yeah. So I went on and became a teacher. <laughs> But I never so got right. into engineering because to me, there was not the opportunity to do it. But it sounds like what you're offering is, is even for those kids whose, whose math skills may not be up there with the best of them, but they've got that, that groundwork, that ability with their hands, they can still get involved in this and, and come from, from that perspective through it. A hundred percent. Like learning comes from engagement. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. If you can engage a student, they'll learn. Yeah. Um, so we'll have students who, yes, are really high in maths and students who might start at the program who aren't as high, but because they see real industry purpose in what they're doing here today and doing over the last two years, they engage. Yeah. Therefore they learn, therefore they improve with what they can do with their maths. Fantastic. So how long has the school actually been involved in the program? Uh, I believe six years. Okay. Mm. Right. So six years and some of our original sponsors who are here today, like from Fraser Island Tours, mm -hmm. uh, they're here today helping the students with the engineering and the mechanics. Uh, they've Still been involved, involved yeah. right from the day. I mean, um, uh, their own children went through the program as well. Awesome. 
yep. great stuff. And so those students that have gone through the program, they finished high school now, they're, they're out in the big wide wonderful world. What sort of stories are you hearing back from them in terms of where it's taken them? Some of them are here today. Okay. Okay. So That's some of cool. our previous students have come down today to help out the students. So uh, that shows the love that they had for the program. Yep. You know, they're, they're a few years out of school. They're coming back to this program today to assist students, uh, be a bit of a mentor from being a past student, um, and they go on into industry. One of them that's here today is a mechanic. So went awesome. straight into industry from here. Awesome. Great stuff. Well, look, obviously the, the foresight that the schools had in terms of getting involved in this is, is no doubt speaking volumes. The kids are obviously having a ball. They're loving it. Um, and, you know, for, for those students who may be finding that they lose their way, somewhere along the line because they sort of seem to be a bit of a square peg and a round hole. What, uh, what have you seen happen for, for those kids? Those kids, because they find a passion in what they're doing in the subject and they start to engage, they build a relationship, they build self-confidence that they can, that they can achieve. That confidence goes on to other subjects, it goes on to other areas of life. Uh, it can be the game changer for students. You know, getting involved can be the game changer. So you're so. seeing a spin-off onto other subject areas, but also to, for their own self-confidence, their self-esteem and, and their sense of worth in this world. 100%. Their development as a young person. You know, they're developing as a young person to engage in society, to engage in the world. Uh, this helps build their confidence. So even areas where they may not be as confident, they're prepared to give it a go. Sure. Um, you know, the school's taking the direction that we've got a proposal in now for a big advanced manufacturing centre which okay. will grow the program uh, exponentially. So you're yeah. going on an industrial scale. We will go to an industry standard scale at school. Fantastic, yeah. mate. Well, look, we really look forward to following that journey as you go through. I think the school is incredibly innovative uh, and obviously your passion behind all of this really shows through too, mate. So uh, Students love of learning, that's what it's about. Great stuff. What yep. more can you ask of a high school? It's just brilliant. Thank you so much for talking. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Great. Folks, behind every program like this, you've got to have some sort of corporate backing and some sort of organisation that actually pulls all of these groups together. So to that end, I'm here with Jason Gardner, who's the CEO of uh, Career Employment Australia. Correct. I believe. I've got it right. Um, Jason, tell me how you guys got involved in this. Well, a little over 12 months ago, Greg Franken, who developed the program, he, he came up with the idea and invested a lot of time and resources in, in creating this great program. And, uh, a really good LMS and um, system behind it, mm -hmm. and his health wasn't so well. Right. And he reached out looking for another RTO that had similar values to to what he has, and and thought we were the right fit. Okay. And it it all eventuated from there, and we're we're incredibly proud to to now be involved with Formula High School. Right, mate. I, I was talking to some of your your staff members before who were down at your trade tent there, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it, it's really obvious the passion that they've all got. There wasn't one person <laughs> standing there who wasn't beaming, saying, we love being involved in this. Oh, mate, there's a, there's a lot of energy down in those pits. And our, our uh, trainers and our staff, uh, they're, they're more excited than, than the kids. Yeah. Uh, some of them have been here since 6 o'clock this morning. Wow. And they probably won't leave until 6 to 9. Yeah, and that's dedication. It's that's dedication. Great. So where do you see this going in the future, mate? What's the, what's the plans for it? Well, provided that we continue to get some um, support from the, the government mm -hmm. and we get funding to deliver the training in schools, then we'd love to take this next to North Queensland and okay. run a similar event. And then 
possibly to other states. So we're reaching out to the Queensland government? Oh, the Queensland state government. government? Okay, yep. Queensland government. It's an extraordinary program. It really is. We spoke to some of the parents up there with the, with kids who are actually out there on the track and they'd obviously been involved in building the cars and well, the parents themselves were beaming. They were just, they, you know. And, and it's important to get that parental support and uh, furthermore, it, it draws in employers and sponsors so there's opportunities for kids to, to get jobs at the end of it, for sure. which is really critical, especially given we've, we've got such critical shortages in, in some of our trades. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if you cast your mind back to when you were 17 years old, what would this have done for you? Well, I probably would have been a mechanic or, or in the racing industry uh, rather than in training. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a far cry from building a toolbox or a stool, for which... Sure was on offer when, when we went to school. Yeah, well, did that plastic letter opener, I remember it well. <laughs> <laughs> or a can opener. <laughs> well, mate, we, we really look forward to, to following the progression of the journey through this with you guys. I think you're obviously the right fit for for the the, uh, the movement itself. Uh, thank you so much for being involved and having a chat with us. Thank you. Pleasure, mate. Good Thanks for having me. Thanks, mate. So, folks, in every great team, you've got to have great team members and and some of the best of the lot when it comes to cars are obviously the drivers themselves. I'm here with Miles and Ollie from the Sunshine Beach High School. Uh, guys, tell me about how you got in, into this, Miles. What's what's driven you to be a driver? Well, I think that in year 10, I looked at this program and I thought it was a quite amazing thing to do, race cars for school. I mean, who gets Sure, who wouldn't want to do that? So um, I joined in year 11. And I got taught all the necessary things to be in the car program, like welding, um, ironing, or oh, sorry, lathing, all that sort of stuff. And then, yeah, we get here to race. So it's pretty cool. Fantastic. Well, there goes another one. Ollie, tell me about your involvement, mate. Right? Yeah, it's the same thing. Joined in year 10, and we had the boot camp program. So they took us through all the um, skills necessary, like lathing and uh, welding and stuff. And then from there, in year 11 and 12, we've started building the cars so we've been building all the parts for them that we need for today so we can race them. Fantastic, mate. And what do you hope to do in the future after all of this? Um, well, after this, I'm looking to join a military position mm -hmm. in the Air Force, but I was looking at engineering as well okay. as a backup option. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good definitely start. interested. Yeah, right. Yeah. And Miles, do you see yourself going into uh, the, the, the motor industry in the future or engineering? Sort of, sort of, yeah. Um, I think the skills which this program has taught me is going to be very crucial and beneficial to me towards the future if I want to pursue a career in that sort of motor industry. However, uh, yeah, same with Ollie. I went to a defense force. I think it set me up with some pretty good skills we're after. Great stuff. Right. Well, look, uh, I think with you guys heading in that direction, the, the country is definitely in safe hands. So uh, thank you so much for talking to us. It's brilliant. Good on you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, having been involved with high schools myself in the past, I know the dedication of the teachers who work behind the scenes, and they really do work tirelessly to to, to build these kids into the, the future wonderful humans they're going to become. Uh, this is Rogan. He's one of the incredibly dedicated teachers at Sunshine Beach High. Rogan, tell us about these the, the cars themselves, mate. What's, okay, uh, what's well, the makeup of them? Well, the cars are actually a design um, built from an engineer over in the States, and he's donated the patent and the intellectual property for us to run it as an education program. And that's something that we've taken on board, the art talk. But what we start off with is basically bare bones. We start with raw material. So we've got the blue box tube. That's the tubular chassis. And the kids are working off a dedicated plan. Right. So everything is through technical drawings. They're documenting the time they're spending on those jobs. Okay. It's all allocated. It's pretty much reflecting what is in industry. So our main goal is to prepare the kids for what they potentially could do in the workforce. Right. And that's what we like to see. So... There are opportunities where we get the kids to extend. We're trying to start to incorporate some of the mechanical engineering university style aspects into it, which is really rewarding for the kids. They're starting to get that connection between what they're doing in the classroom to right. what's in real world. So it's not just about putting together a kit. It's no. about putting some design thoughts yes. behind it, yep. get some skills, get some, some background knowledge and then expand on that themselves. It is. It's it's really understanding why they're actually manufacturing the components in a way that they need to. Exactly. There's, there's a lot of logic behind the reasoning. It's all engineered for a particular purpose and that's what we're trying to explain to the kids so that they understand and can actually use that information and that understanding for when they go into the workforce. Awesome. 
And tell me about the spec of the cars themselves, man. So the spec of the car, right now they're running a Kohler motor, which is only a little 700cc right on lawnmower. Uh -huh. So it's a little bit souped up so it can get up to the speeds that we need to, which at the moment we're running about 80 kilometers an hour. Okay. Um, but for something like the Noosa Hill Climb that we occasionally run in, we unrestrict them, which can get up to about 100. Right. So they are quite fast. They are nimble. Uh, they're designed to be a race car. Um, so it's a really fun little kit to really take around the track and have a good spin. So for those people who are running around on their lawnmowers, <laughs> what are we talking about? A 25 horsepower motor? Or? Uh, 20 horsepower. 20 horsepower. We're running 20 hor horsepower. And today, I think our fastest time, we've slowed the kids down, is a minute 52. Uh huh. Uh, we have. Walked around a minute 30, so right, okay. that gives a bit of an indication. They're not by any means slow. They can get, get up and uh, boogie. Well, they, they just look like they're having a ball out there in, on the on the track. I'm yet to see a student come out of the car looking disappointed. Who hasn't got a good smile? Uh, they love it. They love it. <laughs> and uh, the, the ride home, I, I kid you not, every kid is just beaming smiles all the way home. No doubt. It's a, it's a fantastic day, and I really, really do enjoy it. Parents who come, they love it. They enjoy it. It's just one of those things that these kids are going to take with for the rest of their life. Sure. And I, I talk, I take it you also you you wouldn't be short of kids beating on the door saying no. I want to be part of the program. No, unfortunately we've got a bit of an issue with that. We've uh, we have to turn kids away because we don't have the space. We've we've taken on a third car, um, which is already putting us in a bit of a situation. But we've got the numbers to run four plus cars. We've Wait. got so many kids that are really keen to jump into engineering. Fantastic. And it's, it's it's a wonderful problem to have. Um, and next generation of kids that are coming through, we've got potentially 100 students that want to do a program wow. like this. There's, there's the start of our manufacturing industry and coming back in Australia. Yeah. Right? Just oh, extraordinary. Bring it back to our soil, I reckon. For sure. Yep. Mate, you're a huge part of it. Your dedication is exemplary. Uh, and I think uh, any school who is looking at doing something like this, any kids who are looking at doing something like this, follow the lead of schools such as Sunshine Beach High. It's a, a wonderful program and really professionally run, very safe out there on the track. So mums and dads, if you're thinking that, you know, if youngsters are looking at getting into engineering or they're, they're crazy like about cars like so many of us are, this is the sort of program they, should, they ought to be heading for. 100%. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank mate. you. Great Thank stuff. you for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you. Folks, behind any successful high school student, there's got to be the parents who, who are providing the support and the encouragement. And I'm here with Steve and Alison. They're Ollie's parents that we just met before. Tell me, folks, what's been the, the benefits to Ollie of being part of the program so far? Yeah, there's been numerous benefits. I mean, obviously, this is the pinnacle for them. They actually get to drive what they've made. But just going stepping back from that, they've had two years of actually building this car, learning all the different techniques welding, cutting, fabrication. Everything's got to be the correct quality. Quality control has got to be perfect because it's got to be so safe. Sure. They've just learned so much from this and it's just been an amazing experience for them and for the, obviously the rest of the students and the team. You know, there's lots of people that try and get into it and there's they only select so many because it's, it's a limited place. Limited places, sure. Right. But um, yeah, he's got a lot out of it and it, he's, he's loving it. He's loving That's it. wonderful. Yeah. And Alison, has it, has it changed, Dolly, as a, as a person from what you've seen? Oh, yeah, he's honestly so social now because he's got this great group of friends and they rely on each other to do a great job for the car. So, yeah, it's been amazing. And from a, obviously from a personal sort of thing, he um, bought his own car recently. Right. Um, and wants to sort of look after that now, doesn't he? He sort of yeah, takes what he's learned and then uses it, yeah, on his own car. So. Uh, he'll have a bit of mechanical Absolutely, sympathy there yeah. as well. Yeah. That's great so, stuff. Uh, and uh, a real respect for uh, what the car can do. And, and... Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So maybe a, a safer driver in the future. Well, we too. hope so. I'm not sure about that, but we can hope so. <laughs> I don't what? think I'm going to afford for him to go to Formula One. Though. No, no, we're going to stay out of that one. <laughs> we'll just stick with this one maybe for the time being. Sounds very cool. So where do you see it taking him in the future? Uh, he's, um, he actually wants to uh, join the Air Force. You mentioned that to us, yeah, yeah. That's cool. So that's, um, and obviously there's a lot of... Uh, You've got to have a lot of big skill sets to go into that. It's, sure. a, lot, it's a lot of engineering-based sort of activities in there, science-based as well. So this will be a good step for him, you know. And he's, he'll obviously, well, he'll take out of this. He can use in his, hopefully, his future career. I think it's a wonderful thing and uh, such an amazing start. But, uh, as the cars go past, <laughs> thank you so much thank for talking you. to us. It's wonderful, mate. Just fantastic.
about that.